uh, part three and in this one we're simply just going to be combining our HTTP server script and our FTP script so that way we can avoid doing this make everything a little bit easier so we're going to be doing a little bit of threading Python webserve.py if you remember takes two arguments yep slash user slash Todd Martin slash desktop slash server uh oh screwed up on something okay put it in alright so are we open up go to localhost So we have the HTTPD server running, and now we have the FTP server running all at the same time. Still run the client. But now we're going to combine them to make things a little bit easier for us. So we're going to need this. And if you held on to your FTP or your web serve script, that'll help because we're going to copy and paste most of it instead of rewriting it. So we have our two right here. File, new window. Now I'm going to basically copy that. Now we're going to start a function. Actually, we're not going to use a parse in this. And an uncomment port. We have to change a few variables around. Alright, where it says options dot, we're just going to make it port so that way it references this variable instead of uh, referencing right here where we have the uh, parser option port. And we're also going to change this so that way it doesn't, so that way it will go to root and we're going to set up a action instead of setting up a new variable. Just gonna double parentheses users slash Todd Martin slash desktop slash server. So that way it will change the directory to our server directory whenever it runs. And next we are going to define FTP server. And for this, I'm just gonna copy and paste this right here. server.py. We also need to add, hold on, show you something, to desktop. Alright, if you notice, really didn't do anything. If we open up Firefox here, go to our local host, nothing happened. Alright, the first problem is is we need to call up these functions. We need to tell Python to run these. Because otherwise what happens is it says, okay. Python says I'm importing everything. Now I'm going to make a function called HTTP server. Now I'm going to make a function called FTP server. But it's not actually running the code inside of it. Because we haven't called them up to be used. So we're going to do that by doing HTTP server then FTP server. Alright, let's see what happens. Alright, it says server is running on port 880, so let's look. And it is. Now, I'm going to open up another terminal. Now 
Now we're going to run our Python FTP client dot pi. As you can see from the errors we are getting, it says uh, it's having errors in connecting to the host. The problem is, is that this isn't multitasking like we need it to. We need it to say, we need it to basically run these two functions at the same time. And how we're going to do that is we're going to thread the function. So it's kind of like multitasking, walking and talking, all right? Unless you tell a program to, it cannot walk and talk. It can do one or the other. It can either walk or it can talk. So we're going to have to import, or actually, from threading, import thread. I'm just going to give it a simple little if. All right, now we're gonna create our threading. This may sound very, very complex. It's not. All we need is two more lines of code to be able to achieve this. Thread, we're gonna give it a target equals HTTP server dot start. I'm gonna create another thread, the target going to equal FTP server dot start. Now let's close this out and let's run it again. Hold on. From importing thread, import thread dot named. Screwed up on the import. Got a list of libraries somewhere in these papers. From threading import. Gotcha. Python is very, very case sensitive. Now it should work. Alright, FTP server is not defined. Once again, gotta hate whenever it gets like that. going to be a pain now. Alright, change the desktop, change the development, this python server.py. Now if you notice it printed saying that it is that the server is running on port 8000 which is going to be our um, HTTP port and it says starting FTP server. So let's test the FTP client with the server. As you can see, it worked just fine. Now we can go here, and it worked just fine once again. Even told us, told us that we had an FTP connection, and told us that we had an HTTP connection. Going back to threading, the reason why we couldn't just call up the functions without threading it is because what it's doing is it's saying okay. First, might want to change this so I don't confuse you. Comment this out. All right. If we had just said HTTP server and FTP server, whenever we run it, it's just going to say okay. So here's our imports. We have two functions: HTTP server, def FTP server. Now, first thing we're going to do is we're going to call up HTTP server. So it's going to call up this function, it's going to set the host name, the port, the handler, change the directory, set up the, uh, the actual server, and it's going to print and tell us that it's running on this port, and then it's going to go into a loop, a never-ending loop until the user ends it, which is unplugging the computer, or like I do, hit control C, or exiting out of uh, the terminal where you called it up. It's going to keep going through that port, or going through that loop. So it's never exiting that loop, so it never knows it never knows to come down here and run FTP server while doing it. And you have to thread it because if you don't thread it, then you're going to have to take the HTTP server down to run the FTP server. You can't run them simultaneously. But by threading it, we can run it simultaneously. So 
so that way we can so that way the client the FTP server will work and the HTTP server will work and uh, that's it in the next little series I I want to get more into doing more with the FTP client have a go